This year, we're looking at doing some videos for our calendar updates and giving you some information about our 2018 calendar. What I'm going to do is divide it into three different sections. So part one will be January to May. Part two will be June, July, August. Then part three will be September through December of 2018. And at the end of 2018, um, on that video, I'm going to mention some upcoming dates that I think will be helpful. So our 2018 calendar is ready to be purchased. And as I mentioned, we're going to do um, three different videos, just giving you more detail on some of the events that we're trying to do. So I'm going to start with uh, January. And in January, a couple of things. Most of you know that on some Monday nights uh, for about eight or nine weeks, January, February, uh, we're doing the Dave Ramsey class. I don't know if there's still uh, availability, but you can contact Steve Brady if you're still interested in that Dave Ramsey class. We're freeing up our Monday nights uh, for that. So that is um, starting on January 15th. The Academy resumes. You see that on January 8th. Uh, there's uh, a couple other things there. But the one main thing that I wanted to uh, sh mention to you on January 23rd is the Ab Thomas Ministry Sessions. And what we are doing is we're going to have some sessions in the morning for chapel. We are going to record those. Then in the afternoon, we're going to have a session. Then in the evening, we're going to have two sessions, 630 and 730. And so those uh, sessions are very important for Sunday school teachers, junior church te teachers, uh, even bus workers. Set that day aside, January 23rd. It's a Tuesday. Uh, Ab Thomas is the one that came up with Master Clubs. We use Master Clubs. He's very good with children's ministries. And so we've invited him to come in to give us a little more expertise in the area of children's ministries. Then we go to February. In February, uh, there's a, a couple of things uh, that are going on. Our uh, Russell Rama is actually early this year. And then we have our mother-daughter banquet uh, on February 9th. And then uh, those involved in the Mexico missions trip, they're going to be leaving on February 14th and be going for about a week to eight days. But then in the um, middle of February, towards the end of February, February 20th and 21st, you're going to see something on our calendar that says social media online workshops. We're flying uh, a couple people in uh, to help us in understanding some things that we can do on social media and through social media uh, to help us in uh, outreach, help us with our ministries, uh, to have a, a positive influence. And so we're flying a couple people in, and as it gets closer, we're going to post some of those things. A lot of the staff, we're going to be involved working uh, through the workshops, uh, trying to just get more educated, uh, especially with the technology. There's a lot of things there. So that's why we're having the social media online workshops, February 20th and 21st. Then the next week, the last week of February, uh, starts on Monday, February 26th. We're calling it Young Preachers Week. Uh, we have five preachers that are coming in uh, for that week, and they'll be preaching in chapel on Monday and Tuesday, and then Thursday and Friday. Then Thursday night in our evening service, one of them will be speaking. What we're trying to do is encourage the church. That's why we're having Thursday night, uh, one of them preach. But uh, during the week, to encourage our young people and also in the college to consider full-time service as something that is great to do. It's not a burden. It's something that's exciting. And if God calls you to do that, yes, there may be some problems, but we want to encourage the young preachers, but we want to encourage our young people uh, to uh, be willing to surrender to God's work. And so that's why we're calling it Young Preachers Week. I think it'll be an exciting week. Then we go to March. March is pretty full. Uh, we have our men's barbecue. Uh, we moved that to March. I think it's uh, a great move because then hopefully the weather is breaking. Um, we're actually we're having Pastor Jerry Ross come in 
Uh, I'm excited as he will come in and preach for that men's barbecue. Uh, just be praying for that. Then right after that, on March 11th, we did this last year. We're going to try to do one in the spring and one in the fall every year, uh, a Sunday evening fellowship where we're trying to get some of our Sunday morning folks to step out and come Sunday night. Or you may have a guest. Uh, have them come. And then we order pizza and we fellowship together. So that's Sunday evening fellowship on the calendar. Then uh, the end of that week, March 15th and 16th, we have our basketball and volleyball tournament. Uh, I believe this is our third year, and uh, it's a, an exciting time. You can put that Friday especially aside and come and watch. Uh, there will be games going all day on Friday, volleyball games and basketball games. Uh, then um, the, the rest of the calendar in March is pretty easy to uh, understand. Then we come to April. April 1st uh, is the first Sunday in April, and that is Easter Sunday. And then towards the end of that week, we have our missions emphasis. We did this last year. And so on Thursday, we'll have actually a missionary uh, from Ireland that he's going to be coming in uh, to preach on that Thursday night. Then on that Friday, we hopefully will have a, a film. We'll let you know, uh, but a missions film on that night for a uh, family uh, families to come in, and we'll have that in the college chapel. And then on that Sunday, we'll continue with uh, missions emphasis Sunday morning and Sunday night. And then as we are uh, coming through the month of April, uh, we do start up our spring campaign in the uh, spring there on April 15th. We have a Spanish friend day on that day, and we're heading up to preaching conference. I'd be praying for our preaching conference. I'm excited uh, about it. We are looking at teaching and preaching a lot on the concept of standards. We, we have uh, a number of good preachers that uh, understand the concept of standards. Uh, they have lived it. Uh, they have preached it. Uh, they have held uh, the line as far as their churches. And so uh, I, I'm praying that it'll be something that can strengthen us as a church and uh, strengthen even pastors and graduates that come in on that preaching conference week. Then we come to May. In the month of May, we know towards the middle of May, we have the, the graduations. But if we uh, back up a little before there, you see we have an all-church canvas. Uh, we have an Academy Open House. Uh, Mother's Day, that's on May 13th. We're going to do something a little bit different because we want to try to always be outreaching in our ministries. And so on that Sunday morning, what we're going to be encouraging is uh, moms to bring out uh, their kids and kids to be bringing out their moms. And all of them come out, and then my wife is organizing this on May 13th. Those that come, uh, the moms, their, themselves and their children, um, my wife is going to coordinate with a, a bunch of ladies, and we're going to have a Mother's Day brunch down in our dining room uh, just to uh, encourage them to come out to church, to be at church for Mother's Day. So that's May 13th. Looking forward to that. Then uh, May 17th, we have the college and academy graduation. And then you see uh, for the next week, we have the kindergarten graduation there, and the academy closes down on May 25th. So that's just January to May. Just a little more detail to help you to understand uh, what's going on in our 2018 calendar, January through May.